Okay, hello again. Now we're going to install the Durex build using the Dork app. Now remember in file linked, we already downloaded the Dork app. Okay, now we can do this one of two ways. If you go back into file link, this one you actually can run from here because it's an installable, executable file. If you don't want to do that, you can come out of here and come to your apps and channels. Again, if you're depending on your device, you should have the Dork app in here somewhere. Oh, actually, you know what? Not because I didn't install it. That's okay. I'm losing my mind. Perfectly acceptable. Okay, because we, we downloaded it, but we did not install it, so it will not be there yet. Okay, so we can go ahead and install it from here. And actually, it's already downloaded, but I'm just going to go through it again, just to go through one step here. It, 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 again, it's it's in the file linked download folder, which I could have gone through ES File Explorer to get, but I'm just going to do it one step here, which I probably should have done before, but no big deal. Just let this come all the way to the end until the file linked download arrow changes to a play button, which basically will initiate the, the install of the app. And basically, APK stands for Android Package Kit. It's basically the installable, executable file for Android, similar to what an EXE file is for a Windows operating system, which you may be more familiar with. And iOS has their own installable, which I have no clue because I have zero to do with anything apples except to eat them. I should have just run this from where it was, but such is life. Okay, now I'm going to hit the play button, come to the familiar uh, install screen. If you notice on the upper left it says Dork, you want to install this. I'm going to say install. It's installing. Once it installs, I'm going to open it. And you'll see it looks like the Durex build opening, but it's only going to be the add-on for the, for the wizard. And the only thing that will work, I'm going to go ahead and hit open here. And again, that looks like Durex build, but it's really not the build, it's just the add-on. It's, it's just the wizard. Okay, and because it has nothing else in there, it's basically just going to open to what looks like a Kodi install. Okay, but this is already preset as far as um, pre-existing, I mean uh, unknown sources. Just go to Add-on, Direct Wizard, and you're going to basically pretty much be where you were after installing from zip on the Kodi installation. This is the wizard where you need the wizard to install the build. So maintenance. The only step you don't have to do here is open Kodi, install from zip, install the wizard, then the build maintenance. Okay, so I'm going to go again to backup and restore. Restore local build. Continue. And again, this is where some of you got stuck. You say, there's nothing here. There's nothing here to hit. There's no okay. You're going to hit the two dots. Up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six levels up brings you to your device storage. File linked. Downloads. Build zip. And this is pretty much going to go through the exact same process as uh, the Kodi backup restore, the maintenance backup restore, restore local build. This does the exact same thing. The only difference now, to open this, you're going to open the, uh, the dork icon instead of the Kodi icon. Which again, if you see now, you really can have multiple Kodi installations on the same device because Dork is a fork or clone of Kodi with the wizard built in and the settings built in. So you could basically run two different copies of, of Durex or two different builds in general or just a plain Kodi with add-ons and Durex. The possibilities are only limited to the amount of uh, storage space on your device. I'm going to let this run through just so you can see it. So this might be another minute. Go get a drink, go to the bathroom, fast forward.
look out the window, send me $800,000 to Diane at 800000dollarscom Just kidding, of course. I have never sold any of this. I do this out of the love of the technology and the love of helping. Um, I'm retired and bored most of the time, so this stuff interests me and I love to help. Sometimes I wonder why, but usually it's rewarding and fun. And it keeps me away from the eight gallons of ice cream I would eat otherwise. And what you're listening to, which is boring as anything, but it's good for background, is Amazon Music's Ultimate Relaxation Background Music. Just nice to have something in the background other than my voice. It's funny how everybody hates their own voice. I don't really hate it unless I listen to it. I spent years, you know, in front of auditoriums teaching and talking for 10 hours a day, uh, teaching technology. But when I ever someone recorded me to play it back, I went, ew, who's that voice? Kind of like photographs. Nobody likes photographs themselves. Except people who post pictures on Facebook every seven minutes of every single thing they do. But that's a whole other story. This is a 12,000. We need to get to 17,000. It's moving along at a pretty good clip here. You just see by the voluminous amount of files in this thing how much work was put into this build by the amazing developers who have kept us alive and kept us working so well for so long. I created my own build once. It was a very small build, but boy, it's a pain in the neck and it's a lot of stuff to put together and keep track of and a lot of detail. So I just rely on the, uh, the work of others in my old age. Almost there. And again, force close. And I'm going to back out of the filing. Say yes, back, back until you're at the screen. Now, if you notice, the very first of my recent apps is Durex. That's basically the Durex Cody clone from the Dork app. I'm gonna go ahead and hit that. And now it should start to look familiar. Again, this is the Durex build on the Dork app. Well, through the Dork app. The comforting jingly tones. And here it comes. Again, a couple little errors are going to come up, but uh, that's to be expected. Okay? I'm going to go ahead and shut this off, and I hope that's helped somebody. And uh, let me know what you think. Diane Helen signing off.